And amid a serial killer investigation and a surge of weekend violence, Detroit's top cop facing some very tough questions from city council. Not to mention neo-Nazis marching in the Motor City Pride Festival ready to cause some violence there. Let's get to Rod Maloney live tonight downtown. And Rod, the chief says these high-profile incidents aside, overall violent crime is down. Yeah, he's saying it's down 4% according to his numbers. Homicide down 9%. That's 10 fewer victims this year than last year. Carjackings down 39%, 52 fewer than the year before. And sexual assaults, though, are up. He says 9%, and that's 35 more than last year. Certainly something that they want to pay attention to. But what the chief was doing today was trying to allay concerns that a recent uh, spike in violence is not a uh, not something of a trend, but something that, that, that sorts itself out in the end because he said his department is trying to make quick adjustments. Detroit City Council members asked to hear from the chief because of the appearance of a recent crime spike, particularly weekend bar shootings. Chief Craig is making adjustments. Typically these shootings will occur at closing time, which was the case uh, in the three. So our officers in the precincts, the neighborhood precincts, will be uh, at the locations uh, providing special attention. Uh, at the uh, bar locations. The largest concern of the chief's appearance comes on the heels of a gay pride event over the weekend that attracted Nazis. The chief said his department knew of the intent to cause trouble, deployed officers to separate them from the Antifa group who were also there to stave off another Charlottesville type riot. We had a hate group that was armed, who was very aggressive about trying to incite violence. That didn't work. Then there's the most recent case of a serial killer, the chief praising his homicide unit for solving the case quickly, and now he's looking at another strategy. And we're starting a very aggressive campaign in boarding up uh, vacant houses that are not secured. Uh, we think, uh, given the vacant houses that are not secured, we estimate there may be a thousand on the east side, uh, and there may be a thousand on the west side. Now, the chief is saying that neighborhood patrol officers, the community policing officers, are going to be going around and checking to identify the homes that need to be boarded up. And then he says that the Department of Health and Human Services is going to do the rest in terms of making sure those houses are secured. In the meantime, chief also said that the claims that the Detroit Police Department was giving an escort to the Nazis uh, that were here over the weekend is untrue. He said they had a barrier to prevent violence. Back to you. So, Rod, did the chief tell council what he believes is the most difficult crime? problem that the city is facing? Yeah, he said the yeah, the, the thing that, that he says that nobody can control and he wishes they could is the, this, the sort of senseless sense of, of uh, being slighted or uh, being uh, somehow pushed around and then pushing back with violence such as shooting somebody for cutting them off in traffic. Oh, yeah, that's senseless indeed. Okay, Rod, thanks. Jason.